Hey guys, so this is going to be a um, cook kit video or what are your options for cook kits. As you can see in front of me here is a large variety of different kinds of metal ranging from aluminum to stainless steel to I don't even know. Um, and I've gotten these in a variety of different places. So this right here is an MSR Seagull, the smallest pot they make. I'm not sure the size, but I am in the process of trading this. It's never been used. Um, it'd be perfect for like a solo type deal. I'm really more into um, the budget type, budget side of things. So, um, so a lot of this stuff I've gotten at garage sales or um, thrift stores or whatever you want to call it. Um, so like this is an aluminum little pot. It's not very deep, but it's perfect for like a one person type deal. Comes with a lid, what have you. Um, these are the little Ozark Trail cups, one with handles, one I took the handles off of so it would fit better. And I also drilled some holes in the sides, which is perfect for a fish mouth spreader used as a bale. Okay, it's a perfect little trick. It's super, super easy to do. I try and do it to the majority of my stuff um, just to make life easier. So I got those. I have, this is a Stanley pot. Um, goes up to, well, 20 mils is like right there. So pretty decent sized pot. Got a handle on it. I, again, I drilled some holes in it for the mouth spreader. And I modified the, the lid because it comes with a little plastic thing, which doesn't work well when you heat stuff up. So I put a wood one. And then it works as a strainer. Um, so that's a really good option. And it nests pretty well inside one of those cups. That would be, you know, a cook system if I was going on a trip by myself. Be a pretty good one. This is the Pathfinder bottle set. Also a very good system. This is just a band so you don't burn your mouth off when you're drinking out of it. This is, I think, 750 mils, so that's a pretty decent sized cup. With that, um, kind of that one actually nests pretty well with the Stanley one too. Give you some more options too. Um, but I like having the the ability to carry water, and then if you didn't want to, you know, put this right in the fire, you can use the top. This is like I don't even know some kind of pan. I got it's good for a plate. This is like a little billy can. I have another one of these somewhere that I just bought for like a buck. You can get them at thrift stores. They're usually pretty nasty, but they work well. This bale kind of sucks, but that's all right. Um, not a big deal. But um, those work pretty good for if you have more than one person or even if you just have one person and you like to have a bigger capacity. That works pretty good. This is just a little stainless steel bowl that I got at a thrift store came with another set or with like three or four other ones that are different sizes these are just stainless or stainless aluminum bottles that I just cut off I haven't got around to making them pretty yet I just cut them off today so I can fix those up and those would be some some decent pop pots or and then they nest too this is a little set that's good probably gonna go in my bug out bag so it's got the, the lid that's also a pan. It's just a Coleman set. Um, so it's got the bigger pot and then it's got the, the lid that's also a pan. And then one of my finds today at a thrift store, or at Goodwill I think this one was. It says Bread and Cake Bake Crock Pot is the company on it. But it's, it's completely metal. I gotta fix the handle on it. But it swivels, the lid swivels on and on into a locked place. So that's pretty cool. It's got a pretty good, pretty good size. Almost, I'd say it's about the same size as the Coleman. A little bit deeper though. So that'd be a good size pot for if you got more than one person too. So just some options. I know there's a ton of videos out there, but um, a lot of them are on titanium 
or using tin cans. And um, this is kind of the, mi the middle ground, I would say. So a lot of stainless, a lot of aluminum. Um, but there is some budget options that aren't, you know, a tin can that's going to rust on you. Or, and you know, still DIY. You can, you know, I had a, a ton of, the, you can get these water bottles, these uh, aluminum water bottles at thrift stores everywhere for a buck or less. Saw it off to whatever size you want. Grind it up nice, be good to go. You know, these little, these cups are like three bucks at Walmart. So that's a good option. Very, very good option. The Stanley the cook set is actually um, pretty economical too. So, and then, you know, if you're looking at thrift stores, there's always going to be something that you can find. These Billy cans or something similar, or something that's going to work. You just got to go out there and look. So, um, you know, don't, don't give up if you're on a budget and you're trying to find something and you're just not having luck. Don't give up and um, keep looking and let me know, you know, if you find something. Um, I'm always interested to hear what people find and what people use for, for budget stuff. You know, it's it's pretty easy to go and spend a bunch of money on something that somebody else came up with. And I think budget really um, challenges us to kind of be creative and find what works for us for our budget. So, um, you know, keep looking out there. Don't give up. And um, thanks for watching.